Hi, my name is John. I'm the owner here at Shoreline Music, and I'm here today with a special guitar. Um, this guitar is not from our inventory. It is my personal Renaissance RS6. Now I have a bunch of Renaissance RS6s hanging on the wall back there, but I decided just to go with my own guitar today, just to mix things up a bit. Uh, I have spent hundreds of hours on stage with this guitar. It's at this point an old friend. You can see it's got a little bit of wear and tear on it, but uh, still makes a great sound. Now, uh, I have, gosh, a long list of reasons why I love the Renaissance RS6. In general, I like hybrid guitars or the stage guitars. They're guitars that are designed to sound on the acoustic side of things uh, without having a sound hole. They don't feed back as much. You can plug them right in. They sound great. You can tell the sound guy at the back of the room, put everything at 12 o'clock. It'll sound great without a lot of EQ. Um, and this is true for the Renaissance. It's certainly true for the Tom Anderson Crowdsters. Um, I find the Renaissance tends to lean a bit more on the acoustic and smooth side of things than the Crowdster. The Crowdster has more punch. Um, so you can, I mean, you can hear it right here. Now that uh, comes partially because the guitar is built very much like an acoustic guitar. So you have a cedar top on this, walnut back and sides. The current models have mahogany back and sides. Inside here, it's built just like an acoustic guitar. It's hollow, it's braced just like an acoustic guitar, but there's no sound hole and there's a block right here to kind of support it and cut down on some of the feedback. Um, I have taken this guitar in countless places. It's super versatile. Um, I've led hours and hours of worship with it. Um, in fact, uh, Brian, who you've seen in some of the other videos here, in fact, he's sitting right behind the camera now as we shoot, I played the guitar for his wedding with this very guitar. And I did covers of Hedges, of Phil Kagey, uh, David Cohen. Some of it was rockin', some of it was quiet and finger styly. The guitar did all of it with aplomb. Um, I tend to string it with slightly heavier strings, like a, a John Pierce new medium, just so I can get a bit more meat when I want to dig in and play a little strummier stuff. So. If I did that with lighter strings, it's slung really low, wouldn't sound quite as good. Uh, and so this guitar really does everything I ask it to. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll play a little finger style here. You're gonna hear how just sort of natural and smooth it sounds. You can hear just playing with my fingers how much like a regular plugged in acoustic guitar that sounds. In fact, we used to do a little exercise here in the shop where I'd have people sit down and close their eyes and I would plug in a regular full bodied acoustic and the Renaissance and ask them to pick which one was the Renaissance and rarely could they pick it. Uh, so I love that sound when I'm on stage. I love that acoustic sound, um, uh, but it also handles strumming fine. I find that I can't really bang away on it because it's slung so low, but I can play lightly and it sounds great strung. So. So super easy, it'll, it'll handle, you know, palm muting and heavier. Uh, and you'll notice too that this guitar, unlike any acoustic guitar that you'll ever plug in, uh, it has a really deep cutaway here. So the body meets right around the 14th or the 15th fret, but the cutaway comes all the way up to the 22nd fret, which is just unheard of on an acoustic guitar. Now when I'm playing live, I don't spend a ton of time way up here. 
Uh, but occasionally, it's nice to be able to play a few songs that are in this zone. <laughs> Gosh, I could go on for hours about this guitar. Um, it's just, it's, it's light, it's affordable, it's playable, it sounds great on stage, it sounds great in a mix with other instruments. Um, it's certainly one of our favorites, and like I said, it's my own personal guitar. So this is the Renaissance RS6.